Hello, folks, and welcome to your Whiteout Weather Briefing on this Tuesday afternoon, the 30th of November. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer. Well, we're going to be looking at some strong and gusty winds tonight and again Wednesday. No big surprise there. We've been in a very windy weather pattern. We're going to continue to be in a very windy weather pattern at times over the next several days and again next week. We'll be looking at a few pockets of some 60 plus mile per hour crosswinds and a potential extreme blowover risk in some areas tonight through early Wednesday. Dry and unseasonably mild then with some breezy to strong winds Thursday and Friday. Doesn't look like we'll see any high wind events Thursday into Friday, but we'll keep a healthy Wyoming wind here around the state. Then next week, chance of colder temps, some snowfall, and also, yes, wind. We'll talk about all these here as we work through the next several days in this weather briefing. Here's a mid-level atmospheric chart showing us the equal lines of pressures, wind speeds, and also atmospheric heights at about 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. It's our 500 millibar chart. We've got Wyoming right there. Jet stream flowing across the northern plains and Rockies and dipping down some out in the central plains. And we've got this little weather system moving out over the Dakotas and into the Midwest. And that's cooled temperatures down just a touch today, create a touch of some rain and snow up in the far north. And it is this little disturbance here and some surface low pressure over south central Can Canada, then high pressure out over the Great Basin. That's going to help kick up some very strong and gusty winds tonight into early Wednesday across sections of southeastern Wyoming and south central areas with some breezy to strong winds elsewhere. You're going to notice as we move through these 500 millibar charts over the next few days, the jet stream is going to be flattening out and more from a west to east orientation. Tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, Wyoming right here, a little bit of ridging, jet stream still to the north, but it is starting to flatten out some. And the brown shaded colors on into the pinks represent a warmer air mass. And then as you get into the yellows and especially the greens, the blues, and the purples, it is a colder air mass in the jet stream. Over the next few days, we're going to be keeping the cold air well to our north, and we are going to be staying under the warmer south side of the jet stream. And this is for Friday. We've got Wyoming here. We have a very flat west to east jet stream across pretty much the entire United States. Also, our equal lines of pressure. These black lines have separated. They're not packed as tight together. So that represents a less, a lower pressure gradient, less of a pressure gradient here around Wyoming. And that holds true for Thursday and Friday. So late this week, unseasonally mild, potentially some record warmth. Again, very dry conditions with temperatures running a good 20 to 25 degrees above average across much of Wyoming as we get into tomorrow and especially Thursday into Friday. Not a lot going on over the weekend, but we've got this trough out here in the Pacific that is going to be impacting portions of Wyoming, the region, next week. You'll see here next Tuesday, we finally have the jet stream buckle. Big ridge of high pressure looking to build across the Pacific. That produces a ridge. Then that dives the jet stream down across the Rockies and Plains. And this is going to open up the door, it looks like, to some cold air out of the north as we get into late Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. At the same time, some atmospheric moisture and energy might be arriving from the southwest. And that will bring us an increasing threat of snow, some wind, and winter weather impacts back across Wyoming. Wyoming and the Rocky Mountain West as we head into the early to middle part of next week. And as a whole, the middle to end of December is looking a lot more active with potentially some frequent storm systems and strong cold fronts bringing periods of on and off winter weather conditions around the Cowboy State and the Rocky Mountain West. But in the meantime, a lot of nice weather and specifically here for tonight. We've got this pocket of wind, south central and southeastern Wyoming, with west to southwest wind gusts of 20 to 30 miles an hour, or some sustained winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, some widespread gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour through this yellow shaded area overnight tonight. 
There will be the potential, some 60 plus mile per hour gusts and crosswinds. First on I-80 as we get in this evening tonight between Laramie and Rollins. Then after about midnight or so, potentially Laramie to Cheyenne, picking up some potential crosswinds and extreme blowover risk. Likewise, I-25, Cheyenne North to Wheatland late tonight into early Wednesday morning, seeing that threat of some 60 plus mile per hour crosswinds. Otherwise, dry with chilly but above normal temperatures across much of the state and breezy to strong winds. Then another pocket of some high winds up here in northeastern Wyoming on the western side of the Bighorn Basin, Wyoming 120 and adjacent roads up from about Matitsi to Dakota and up to Clark. Now for Wednesday. Our area of strong and gusty winds expands, but our extreme blower risk and 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts going to be pretty limited. This whole shaded area seeing some strong and gusty winds with winds along the west side of this red dashed line gusting anywhere from about 35 to 45 miles an hour. So no big deal there. And they will be out of the southwest to the east of the red dashed line. We're going to be looking at stronger winds, especially in the early a.m. hours, some gusts still. 50 to 65 miles an hour, especially on I-25, Cheyenne to about Wheatland, and also potentially on Cheyenne to Laramie section of I-80. Then as we get into the evening and even the afternoon hours, winds will be subsiding Wednesday as that pressure gradient weakens and mild and dry high pressure moves in. Now specific road impacts for tomorrow. This holds true overnight tonight, then into early Wednesday morning, up through probably about 10 a.m. Extreme blowover risk will be possible due to 60-plus mile-per-hour crosswinds in this red shaded area. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at no weather-related road impacts for your Wednesday and the first day of December. Thanks for watching this afternoon, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.